Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Chris and today we're gonna talk about real variegation versus potentially fake variegation in tropical houseplants. So let's first start off with a baseline of what variegation actually is. Variegation is simply a different colored zone or space on a plant stem or leaf. So on this monstera, you're seeing the white patches and then the green patches. The white is the variegation. And on this Hoya, you're gonna see the white variegation parts as well as the stem and the early leaves being semi-pink. That's also considered variegation. Now this was or is a pink Congo. A pink Congo philodendron was a bit of a plant scam that happened a couple years back. This is just a typical philodendron congo that they chemically induced to produce pink variegation. You can't see it here now. There's some remnants of what I believe is some sort of like the scarring from how they chemically induced it. But I'll put up a picture of what this looks like. It's really beautiful, but it's unfortunately just not natural. So when you're buying these rare variegated houseplants, you're looking for variegation or albinism that is within the DNA of the plant. The difference of these two monsteras is that this one has one type of DNA within it. It's the green monstera deliciosa. It's pretty straightforward. You've seen it before. It's a beautiful plant, but this plant has at least two or more types of DNA within it. So it has the albino DNA here, that creates this white pigmentation. Then it also has this green DNA from this plant in here somewhere. And when you cross those two together, you actually get different layers of patterns that create colors like mint. So on the Stande Leona, you see the white variegation here and then the green variegation on the other side. That's two different types of DNA. And then when they mix together, you get this nice mint color kind of up the middle. And on the back, you can just see that that's just the cream and the green mixing together. So you're essentially just crossing layers of different DNA on top of each other and then stacking them together. It can be two or more, and that's what creates chimeric variegation or DNA-based variegation or genetic variegation. And the dead giveaway for that is within the stem, especially on Monstera. Here on the stem, you're gonna get that candy cane-like effect on the stem where I have cream colored variegated stem all the way through as well as the green. So I know within that stem cell of this plant, it carries at least two different types of DNA within that plant. All of these plants that are chimerically variegated are found in the wild and then people cultivate them and bring them to market. So we know it is within their DNA. The way that this is created in the wild is kind of argued and up for debate, but some people think it's heavy metals, but it really doesn't matter. It's brought to our market and we love and admire these type of actually genetically variegated plants. But now when it comes to fake variegation or chemically induced variegation, this plant, the philodendron meekins, as well as the philodendron congo, they're being induced to be variegated, which is not DNA based, but it's a temporary change by something called ethylene. Some kind of shady plant sellers and plant propagators are using a plant hormone, which we won't get into because that's not a practice we agree with. And they induce this plant to create this temporary pinking of the leaves. It's actually what they use to make green tomatoes ripen. And it makes those tomatoes ripen red, which is useful in some agricultural spaces, but to sell it for a level at which like the pink princess goes for is just really, really unfair. I think we paid about two or $300 for this plant two or three years ago. And now it's just back to a regular 40, $50 philodendron Congo, which is a beautiful plant, but it shouldn't be sold to you as something that it's not or something that you expect to be permanent. Variegation in this plant should remain as long as you give it plenty of light, prune it back regularly and continue to have that stem within this plant, which contains all of its stem cells and its DNA. So just like the Congo, the philodendron meekins is coming into this pink variegated chemically induced type of variegation. We're seeing these being sold on Etsy and all across the internet as pink meekins and they're chemically induced. So that variegation is temporary and it's going to revert. So when you're out there shopping for houseplants, just be weary of different new versions of variegation and variegated houseplants that you might not have heard of. And always be a little weary of the pink color that's induced in plants. What you tend to find in plants is this albinism and green, this 
two types of different DNA within this plant or a mixture of two or three that creates this flecking and freckling pattern and then mint color. So try not to chase down the hype. Follow the variegated plants that have been stably variegated for 30 or 40 years and you should be good to go. We hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy the video and or learn something new, please click the like button down below. And if you wanna come back for more videos every Saturday, click subscribe and we'll see you back here next week. Thanks for watching, have a good day.